Hello everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I want to talk to you guys about Adobe Flash and I can already hear my fellow tech friends just sighing in the background saying, oh just please let it die already, we've got to move past this. And there's good reason for them to think that. You see, Adobe Flash is one of the most problematic and malware ridden plugins in the history of computing. But there's a reason for that. It's not because the plugin is bad by any means. It's because the plugin is so good. And I've had a lot of people actually ask me if I would do a video explaining how to update their Adobe Flash player so they can stay secure. Now, while a lot of people say just uninstall it, you don't need it, it's time to move on. Unfortunately, that's not entirely the case. See, Adobe Flash Player is one of the most targeted plugins in the world at the moment because it is so popular. When people are writing malicious software or viruses out there, they're not going to choose the plugins that are the least popular because they want their software, their viruses and trojans and cryptware and all that other stuff. They want that to be exposed to as many different computers as possible. And so they're going to write viruses and malicious software for the most popular software. It's why Adobe products get a lot of flack for being so insecure. It's not so much that they're insecure because they're constantly pushing out updates to try and fix them and make them more secure. It's the fact that they're the most popular. Adobe Reader is the most popular PDF reader for the rest of the world. Adobe Flash Player is the most popular plugin for online media. It's the way it is. And so malicious software writers are going to write for those plugins. Now, the internet is slowly moving away from requiring Adobe Flash in order to run, and a lot of sites are going to HTML5, which is great. It will be great when we are 100% on HTML5 and we can just retire Adobe Flash and be done with it, and that will no longer be a security hole. Unfortunately, that's not the case now. As of now, research shows that about 10% of websites still use Adobe Flash. Now, a lot of people may think, oh, 10% is not that bad. That's okay. I'll just go ahead and uninstall it. The problem is, within that 10% of websites is still a large number of very popular websites, such as Twitch, the largest streaming site in the world for content for creators to be able to live stream there, requires Flash. Now, before anyone drops in the comments and say they do have HTML5, they are trying to implement it, but it's in beta right now, so it's only in select channels, it's only for select users, it's not a default. Right at the moment, Adobe Flash is still the default. Spotify, one of the most popular streaming radio players on the internet, still requires Flash. HBO Go still requires Adobe Flash. And, so, and there's a lot more out there, unfortunately. Now, the problem is, the reason why a lot of these companies haven't just, oh, we'll flip a switch and move to HTML5 is because it's expensive. They have to reprogram their entire back end of how their entire structure works in order to get Adobe Flash off of there and HTML5 on there. In the meantime, they're still having to limp along with it. And so for that process, it's important for those sites that you still want to be able to use while they're trying to transition that you have the most updated version of Adobe Flash. And I will show you how to actually go about downloading the most current version of it so that you can make sure you are nice and secure. Now, some people also point out that browsers like uh, Google Chrome try to disable Adobe Flash by default, and that is true for most websites. But if you go in and look in the actual options for a, a, a Google Chrome, you'll see that it is still enabled for safe sites, basically sites that it automatically deems as safe. So when you try and access things like Twitch for streaming or HBO Go or Spotify, Google Chrome will see those as listed as safe sites and will go ahead and enable it. But it's not disabled by default. Some people think that Google just straight up blocks it. That's not the case at all. It has a much more strict list for sites that it actually allows, but it's still required for a lot of these sites. And it's the same thing whether you use Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge if you're on Windows 10, Firefox, Opera, Chrome, all of those. It doesn't necessarily matter. It's going to require it for some of these sites. So it's might as well get it updated to the most current version to make sure you are secure. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get Adobe Flash to make sure you are the most updated version on your system. Uh, just go to adobe.com as I'm there right now. There's two ways to get to it from the home page, which you'll see when you first load up here. You can either click on the menu icon up here at the top and you'll see it listed right over here in the bottom left side. Adobe Flash Player, or if you can't get the menu to pop up or whatever, you can see it down here in this list of options for other products they have. You can click on it, it takes you to the same place. 
Now when you're on this page, I have to insist that you make sure to uncheck these boxes because it will install the McAfee Security Scan Plus and the True Key Intel Security Products. Both of them I highly recommend not putting on your system. They are not that great. I just don't recommend them. If you want to make sure you have a different version of it, you can click on this information over here to get a different version. It should detect I'm running Windows 64 bit on Firefox right now, so it'll download the most recent version. Click on install now. It will begin the initialization, and then it will pop up and give you a downloader in order for you to install somewhere. Just choose to save it. Easiest place to find it is on your desktop. It won't take very long to download. Then you go to your desktop, look for that flash player, double click to run it. It'll ask if you're sure, go ahead and click on run. This won't take very long at all unless you have a very slow internet connection, but it doesn't have a whole lot of files that has to download in order to be able to update Adobe Flash Player. So you're welcome to just let sit here for just a second. By the way, go ahead and leave your browser open while you're doing this, just because uh, it will ask you to go ahead and restart your browser anyway, and it's going to try and open up the page as is. So there's no reason to go ahead and close this because it's going to open it back up anyway. And then it'll pop up and say, thank you and enjoy your Adobe Flash Player, and you are up to date. So anyway, I hope this video was very useful to you. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, do drop them below, and I'll happily respond as quick as I can. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'm trying to upload one every Wednesday, and hopefully I'll get to where I can do more often than that. But as of now, that's the schedule. And hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and found it useful. Thank you guys so much for your time. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.